this is a presentation how to configure Yuma TRX2. Here is the configuration button and the idea is that the lower features are selected by pushing long the related button. Pushing long this config button we will enter the configuration pages. The first, first page is this automatic gain control you can select with the VFO knob slow and fast. Next is the bandwidth adjust. You can adjust uh, three different filters. Now it's the wide one, there is the middle one and the narrow one. These three filters are individually adjust can be adjusted like I demonstrate this wide filter. Let's go to the narrow one. We can go down to 600 Hertz. The lower limit is always 300 Hertz. Next page is speed processor control. You can have it on or off. This selects the microphone connector mode. Default is microphone input. You can also select line input for PC use. This page is for gear selection. There are four different gear types. The first one is dot priority. That means if you push both battles it will provide dots. Next one is Iambic A and the most useful is this Iambic B. It means that if you touch both paddles you get da 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 continuous. The last one is the straight one if you want to use a straight key. Next page is the CW pitch. Uh, it adjusts both the audio coming from the side tone and also the difference between the, the pitch tone and the carrier. Uh, the CW speed knob can be used for CW speed but if you don't use CW you can change it to the squelch button and then it acts as a squelch level. Uh, you can uh, adjust the display. This is the brightness and contrast and again uh, tunable by the VFO but we have VFO knob. If you want to save some battery you can set timer for the LCD backlight. You can have up to few thousand seconds. This page is to set the serial communication protocol. There are several protocols. Yuma TRX2 is used in conjunction with PA100 etc. There are Yasu cat mode, voice memory control mode and also test mode for test purposes. Next page is the serial communication baud rate setting, which should be set to the same as the slave equipment baud rate. This page defines how many VFOs you have in use. The VFOs are selected by the VFO button. You can have up to 26 VFOs. The VFOs will include the mode of uh, like uh, LSP, USB and CW. If you select two VFOs then you are able to use split modes. 
that means you have A and B VFOs and then long push will set the VFOs to the same frequency. So let's go back to the nine memory uh, VFOs. Okay, now we are back on the first configuration pages and we can come out from the configuration by long push. And now we are in the, back in the default display. These are the configuration functions of Yuma TRX2.